Alright guys, we have this Jacipo meat thermometer. It's the best choice for meat and barbecue. It has a little uh, temperature chart to see which one, what type of meat tells you to when it's cooked all the way. This one right here says it's ultra fast, waterproof, clear, and uh, accuracy and ensured calibration. Let's do a little unboxing and get to it. I actually didn't know that I actually have another brand called Cooliner and that I have already open. And we're gonna actually use this one instead. And let's see, turn, open it up. You can, have, uh, you can change it to Celsius or Fahrenheit. And you can hold the temperature to know. And let's see, close it up. It's also magnetic. You can actually stick it to the fridge. Voila. And whereas this one, might as well use this as a gift but as a can opener and cool so we're not going to open this one up oh, since I already have one that I own and I'm going to use this little one right here on some photos oh remember it's magnetic so and we're gonna open up some portos frozen delivery bake at home We make it, you bake it. What we have inside? We got some uh, guava cheese rolls, some some cheese rolls, and potato balls. Let's uh, look up what the temperature is to bake these, and let's get to it. All right, looking up the temperature on how to bake. We got um, potato balls. We're gonna set it to 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake it for 15 to 25 minutes. Then we let it cool, and now we'll scroll down to the guava and cheese strudels, and that's at 400, and we're gonna bake that to 30 to 35 minutes. All right, so we're gonna take those out early. So let's just set it to 350. I'm gonna turn it on. This is my oven that I have because I don't actually have a. Um, oven underneath the stove so we're gonna turn this on let it warm up a little bit so preheat it and then we're gonna lay these out on this aluminum floor right here and let's get to this so let's got some guava cheese make sure it's spaced out all right we'll bake the guava cheese first and then we'll do the potato balls i got all six right on here laid out beautifully and this is uh, set for 400, so let's we'll set this one to 400. And we're gonna let it preheat, and once we let it preheat, we're gonna put it in, and then after it's done, we're gonna check it with the thermometer. I'm gonna put it into the oven. Right here. Cover it up on some aluminum foil so it doesn't burn the top. And set it for 30 minutes. And we'll check it out in 30 minutes. All right. Still looking at it. Nice it up. There we go. Almost done, about five minutes to go. I'm over here. I'm going to uh, make the glaze right here. We're gonna make the glaze. I'm gonna make a little syrup for the glaze on top. So we're gonna add a fourth of a cup of water and a fourth of a cup of sugar. And we're gonna cook it until it's all melted and blended in together. And for the for the sugar, I'm gonna use dark brown sugar just because it has a little better coloring of it. So let's get a little bit of that. Check that out. Get some sugar in there. Boom. And that's good. A fourth of sugar, a fourth of a cup. As the thing's heating up, I'm gonna get a little uh, spatula. I'm gonna stir it at a medium, medium high temperature. We're gonna start at medium high temperature, right here. See a little bit of that. So it kind of like blends and gets thicker. What we're trying to do here is while we're cooking, we're just trying to caramelize the sugar. The sugar is caramelized and heated. 
I'm gonna get my little brush. I'm gonna turn off the oven. I'm gonna bring it out. Let's see. There we go. Let's take a look at this. All right. All right. Now that that's done, let's get a little brush right here. And we're gonna paint it. All is still hot. Makes a gold, golden glaze over it. I use brown sugar, so it's gonna be a little darker. So I'll just melt over it. Let me see that. This beautiful sugar. Okay, and we're just gonna let it rest right here. And we're done with that, and we're just gonna wash that up and let this rest, and we're gonna work on the potato balls next. All right, guys, the moment of truth is to check the temperature of it. You poke it in. It's over 130 degrees. 100, ooh, 140, 150. Okay, all right. That's how you know it's cooked all the way through. Big good. We're going to get the potato balls and put onto the aluminum foil. We're not gonna waste another aluminum foil, so we're gonna use the one that we had before and put it on here. Oh, there's still some of this. I'm gonna just throw that on here as well. Take it up. We got here. We go. All right, so we got four potato balls. All right, looks like the potato balls are done. Time to take it out of the oven. Here we go. Voila. Alright. Poke it in. Ooh, it is definitely cooked. Definitely cooked. Baked with that beautiful place. I made over it. Mmm. Yummy. Definitely not cooked. In. Now let's check the temperature now. This is not the right temperature, let's check it again. That uh, looks like it's pretty good though. All right, it looks like it's all cooked and ready to go. So it's time for me to eat all this food. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.